Good morning, Buzz. How are we doing, man? Very well, Alex. Very well, actually. How are you? Good, good, good. Another film, a good film this week, actually. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got um, uh, Banshees of uh, Isherin, uh, which we went to the cinema to watch. So I think we were both impressed. Um, so it kind of focuses on uh, the two characters, which is uh, Colm, I think you pronounce his Colm, name. Colm, so, Colm. Uh, yeah, Colm. And uh, Podrick, uh, which are two very good friends uh, on a very, very small island um, just off the coast of Ireland. Um, which we would guess, would we say, what, 1920s, 1930s? I think we uh, it is, established. Yeah. It's, de it's definitely during a war, during one of yeah, the world wars. Right. Yeah, that's right, yeah, because you can see in certain scenes of the film that there's something going on in the mainland, uh, like a, a war. So we, we, we think somewhere around 1920. Anyway, um, and yeah, but they're two very good friends, or at least they were, um, until one day Calm just decides... That he doesn't want to be Podrick's friend anymore, um, and as as blunt as that yep. sounds, is how it is, uh, you know, pervade. He, he goes to the pub, uh, tries to sit with him, and he doesn't want to sit with him anymore. He doesn't want to talk to him, and um, it's this kind of strange story of friendship that um, just ceases to be, uh, really. And uh, it's got two great actors in it. So obviously it's Bre Brendan Gleeson and Colin uh, Farrell, oh, uh, yeah. which uh, used to obviously star together in um, in Bruges. Uh, yes. So it's kind of like a re reunite. Re re and the director re re is Martin Mac them. Martin McDonough, which is also yeah, a director. Yeah, it's the same director. So obviously the director's brought them back together again. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's a good reunion between two great actors. But uh, yeah, what did we think, Alex? Yeah, let's uh, let's see a clip of it just to get it, uh, yeah, just sure. to see what uh, what it looks like. So um, roll the clip. I didn't hear those to be a session. Last minute tea. Colm decided. All the ladies love Colm, you know? Always did. Yeah? That's not true. You're still bad, Dominic. Out! He said bad until April. Well, what do we know? April? Well, put that stick outside anyways, and don't be bothering the women. There's women? There is women. And good ones. Right, so so yeah, this gives you a taste is. of good is clip. good. Yeah, is, it gives you a taste yeah. of. So this is like that film that is borderline between comedy and drama, and this is you just see you've just seen the comedy side of things, um, yeah. and it has funny moments uh, like that all over the place. Um, but in between, there's this this chaos that that Colm's decision to stop being friends with him, what that produces in the actually in the community. Because it produces so much chaos in in Podrick's life, in Colin Farrell's character Podrick, that he doesn't know what to do with himself. Because he's got this best friend, everything sort of like he's part of his life, and all of a sudden this is taken out, and there's no particular reason for it. Also, I don't know if you remember Buzz, but when he asks why do you not want to be friends with me anymore, he says because I don't like you. <laughs> yeah. And he said, well, you you liked me yesterday. <laughs> it's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And it's like, yeah. that's such an, it's such a subjective uh, reason. It's like, what, what, what does that even mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, but, uh, but uh, what did you thought of it, Buzz? Well, yeah, I thought, I thought it was very good. Um, obviously, the actors are, are very senior in terms of their ability, so it was always going to be one to watch. And I did think it was quite interesting. I mean, uh, you, you commented how, how uh, everyone in the film had seemed to have a problem with uh, being lonely and I didn't even really factor that in I mean even even like the animals that Podrick has uh, Correct, they all seem yeah. to be just like one of everything so it's one cow and one donkey and uh, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. there's a dog or something isn't yeah, there so even yeah. his own animals seem lonely and Podrick lives with his sister who is also married, lonely yes or was married but now isn't as well uh, who's also lonely there's an old lady that is quite a ghostly figure in the film that just walks around the island and that's a bit gothic um, and uh, yeah, yeah so that's quite an interesting element yeah, to the film yeah. But, it, but yeah I thought I thought it was good I thought it was a, it a, does, a decent watch it does make that give that sense of living in a bubble a very real you can actually see that because there are scenes when First of all, they're disconnected from the rest of the world. All they, The way they get their news is once a week from the, the tiny port that this village has. Uh, and there's a shop that receives all the news. 
and there's there's gossip and there's some letters and there's, that's how they get the news of the rest of the world. Yeah. And the yeah. second way of doing that is once in a while, this is, and I think this is intentional from the director, is there's, they see bombing far in the distance. Yeah. They just hear yeah. it and yeah. see it and they just look at it and that's just like, it's like reality knocking on their bubble going, there's, there's a bigger world there's than yours world here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that also creeps into the storyline very nicely and impacts the characters because as soon as they are lonely, so as soon as Podrick loses his friend, he starts thinking about that side of thing, things. And also there's, there's dialogue in it between Colm, the older guy, and his sister, Podrick's sister, about that sort of thing, you know, what are you going to do with your life? And she's a beautiful woman, the sister, and, and, and all of that. But it's beautiful. What what did you thought of the cinematography and what it looked like? What it is? Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of it's there's lots of greys and greens, isn't there? Uh, with it, which kind of like uh, sums up the kind of the atmosphere a lot of the time in the film. Um, especially when uh, Podrick's uh, in a, in a down mood sort of thing. You know, it was all it's always a through the backdrop of grey clouds and stuff like that. So it's very good. Uh, sets the tone very well. Um, but yeah, no, I think it was it was an interesting one really because you know. With Colm, he just wants some, I think he wants some integrity, doesn't he, before he right. dies. He doesn't want to be known as just some old Irishman that just spent Perfect. his last spot days yeah, spot in on. the pub, you yeah. know. He wants some, uh, you know, he's, he's writing, um, I believe it's a song, he's writing a song. A le- a he wants a legacy, a basically. Yeah. 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 yeah, so he wants a little bit of a legacy and a little bit of dignity, whereas his friend, uh, Podrick, he's just quite happy just to live a simple life. And I think it's good those two contrasting kind of viewpoints, really. Correct. Um, and that's why Colm decides that he can't be friends with Dimwits anymore, really, Correct. which I think yeah, is quite yeah. good. I think we've all we've all had to think about that at some point in our life. We might all have some friends who maybe are a little bit dimmer than that's the that's others. that's bang on. Um, I think that's what the film does, to be honest. Puts a do, big, do, we, do we do we stay mark. friends with these people for easy laughs, or do we uh, do we get rid of them and make our surroundings yeah. better? You know, and uh, I think that's why it's quite relatable and stuff. Yeah, but, and it's funny because it seems like even Podrick's kind of happy to be good friends with his donkey and his cow as well. You know, he really doesn't have any... He doesn't have any... Put on any airs, exactly. does he? He's, he accepts everyone into his life. Yeah, know? yeah. It, and, and also the bigger question is, it puts the, a big question mark on, you know, everybody saying, oh, I want to, for the, uh, you know, at the end of my life to live in a small community and it's peaceful and quiet and separated from yeah. the world. Mm. This film goes a little bit on the other side and thinking, I do really, do really want to be this disconnected. Uh, but yeah, yeah it's, it's a very good film. Uh, Banshees of Vishirin, we've seen it in the cinema. Uh, I think yeah. it's, it's a very it's an independent film. I hope it's going to go to Oscars because it's such a beautiful piece of um, everything, basically. Everything is well put together, the film. Uh, and uh, yeah, until next time, Buzz, thank you very much. Yeah. And uh, talk to you soon. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, take care. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later.